It's Matt Lemke here from Gamer Goggles, and we're going to do a second edition demo of Wild West Exodus with Matthew Parker. Parker. Just Parker. 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 He's Parker. Peter's long lost cousin. Exactly right. <laughs> he uh, climbs trees. Yeah. I am. Uh, at, uh, I'm trying to think of a thing that's a spider, but it isn't a spider, and I can't, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of something that was like... Arachnid dude. <laughs> Arachnid dude. Venom. Cool, right? Venom. Uh, so, um, you folks haven't played the game at all before. I have so not. I'm gonna start, she has not. I'm going to start at the start. Uh, I'm not going to go through a huge amount of um, spiel and kind of like info dump about the game. But there's a few things that it's handy to know. Uh, one of them is everything's on D10s, aka 10-sided dice. Uh, we have some stats around here. The Q is for quickness, that's how fast you can move. M is mind, which is your mental capacity and willpower. A is your aim, that's how well you can shoot. G is your grip, which is how tough you are. F is for fight, that's your punchy punchy skill. And L is your limit, which is the maximum amount of actions you can do in a turn. Uh, generally speaking, when you're trying to do something, um, you are taking a stat, for example, your aim. Let's say you've got an aim of seven, as you have there with Wagner's eye. You're rolling a D10, adding that number to that number, and trying to make a 10 or higher. So you've got seven plus five makes more than 10, therefore you succeed. That's kind of the core of the game. That's how you do stuff, it's pretty simple. But there are a lot of ways to break the rules and do kind of sneaky stuff. Um, my personal favourite thing about the game, I am just a volunteer, I'm not uh, paid by the company or anything like that. I just want the game to be more people to play, so I'm not more people to play against. My personal favourite thing is the uh, adventure deck here. Uh, you have guts on one side and glory on the other. The guts is something cool that you can do right now. So in this case you've got plus one aim. Hey, guess what? Well, we're stuck. What's up? Oh no! Oh, is it not plugged in? Oh no! How bad would that be? If you do a whole thing and you haven't had any sound? Yesterday I did one. Uh, Jesus. I just replaced my cable. Right. I did the figure for just at least two guys. Mm -hmm. Assembly videos. And all I had was feedback. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Changed the battery. I plugged uh, my short cable in. I got a little four inch cable to this and the microphone. I'm in pump. Saw that I plugged this one back in. I had a big screen cutter. Exodus demo at Gen Con 2018. Uh, I should say it's second edition rules for those of you that, you know, catch this in five years. Uh, and I'm with my wife, Lisa. That's her sexy hand. And my hand. Hi. And Matthew Parker. Hello, this is my hand as well. How you doing? And he's our guide through the Wild West. Well, yes, and I'm from England, so I'm sure I'll do a really good job. <laughs> so, um... Uh, the core of the game is really simple. Uh, you've got some stats. Uh, allow me. Uh, we have gr uh, quickness at the top. That's how fast you can move. Mind is how clever you are and your strength of will. Your aim is there, which is uh, your shooty skill. G is grit, how tough you are. F is fight for, unsurprisingly, melee combat. L is limit, which is how many, the maximum amount of actions you can do in a turn. Uh, we'll cover that when we come across it. Generally speaking, you're taking a stat. Let's say your aim is 6. And you're rolling a d10 and adding it. Uh, and trying to make 10 or more. In this case, I have, because I've got an 8. I only needed a 4, so I've made it and I've succeeded that check. That's the simple thing of combat. Uh, then we have my personal favourite thing about the game is the adventure deck. Uh, we have some cards you get to draw at the start of the turn. We have guts on one side and glory on the other. Guts is something cool that you can do in this turn. Maybe it's a bonus. In this case, it's plus one aim. Uh, it might be extra action points to allow you to do other things. It might be uh, a chain activation, because normally you're activating one model, one model, one model, one model. Maybe you can activate two and like, get a, a significant push up the board. On the other side, you have glory. Uh, and that allows you to score victory points and help you win the game. Uh, so then you're, you're always making decisions. Do you have some of these cards? Do I want to use the gut side and do something cool and charge up the board? Or do I want to use the glory side and score some victory points? So you're always then making those decisions. One of the things I personally really love about this game, there's always something to think about. There's always a decision to make. 
um, some miniature wargaming uh, excuse me games can be a little bit like here's my army they move forward they do this and you know exactly what they're going to do you've got exactly a game plan for them and that's it this is super fluid you can always kind of maybe figure something out one way or another so without further ado should we jump right in yep okie dokie so uh, if you both want to draw a little action card deck uh, an action card they're the little decks here uh, and if you read out the top uh, number the little number 14 14, so you have a higher number, so you go first. That's initiative. It's that little number. It's the, it's the, put it on camera. the Diddy number. Now does this go to the top of the deck? Well, uh, it becomes there. discarded. So you can just pop it by the side there. <coughs> Excuse me. So So now it's your act it's your go, you get to activate. So first thing you, you draw three cards from your um, adventure deck. Just have a quick scan of them, have a little think about what they can do. They might have plus one action point, they might have plus one two stat, they might have a little picture. Uh, and if you can draw three as well, that'd be great. You get to have a little look at them. So they're mine. Mine. How many like them, but those ones are yours. Wow. Wait a minute, so he gets five actions? Uh, no, no. A is aim. Oh, okay. His limit is three, so he can do a maximum. <laughs> limit. That's yeah. That's the key word I was looking for. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky when you're playing a new game to figure out what the things mean, especially if you come from something like 40k where they have the same stats for everything. Or just about every other game that's out there. Yeah, exactly. Right. There's no toughness. There's grit, which is kind of thematic. Oh, oh excuse me. All right. Sorry. So now. What, what's the timing for playing Guts vs. Glory? You can play them whenever you want. Once you've played them, they have been played and they get discarded. Uh, in this little demo game, you get three cards. Normally you would get five cards in a standard game. And then you can play them throughout the turn. Any you don't use, you choose to discard or keep to the next turn. And then you draw back up to the starting amount, in this case three. Okay. So you've got those for the turn. Once everyone's activated, you start a new turn. All right, so. So your first action, uh, you will draw an action card, which is those little ones. Now you're not looking at the little number, you're looking at the big, big number. number. Okay, so my first action is one action point. One action point. Sadly, that's not very much. There are four uh, ones in the deck. There is one five, and the two threes and fours become like a bell curve, so you'll have a few of each. Right, so you're not quite sure what you're going to do at any turn. But unfortunately, you get to pick your action card first, and then you get to decide who you want to activate. Now, having one action point isn't great, not going to lie. However, there may be things, as I was saying earlier on, you can break the game. It does give you the opportunity to do other cool things, right? Right. So, uh, you've got, just going through the guys here, you've got, uh, what's his name? Tobias Franklin, who's got a cool gun. You've got a guy with twin link Gatling guns over here. That's uh, Jared. That Jeffrey. Is Jeffrey Williams. You've got Stonewall Jackson, leader of the Confederate Rebellion there, standing on his box, because he Double likes boxes. Uh, you get two uh, attack dogs, they come as one unit, so they activate together. And then lastly, at the back here, you've got a big old Confederate tank. He's got a pair of Gatling guns and it's hard as nails. Uh, on this side, we've got Raven's Eye, who's a sniper. We've got Walks Looking, who's the boss of the Warrior Nation in this posse. She's super hardcore in hand to hand combat with these spirit blades. She can charge up with the power of her will. Uh, we've got this guy, White Buffalo, who's a uh, big, strong, tough as nails dude. We've got a uh, oh, little claw. He's got a pair of tomahawks you can throw at people and chop their faces off. And here we have a group of Karga brothers with their funereal war paint. They've got two big heavy crossbows and a Gatling gun. And they operate as one unit as well. So if you want to pick one of these guys across the way to activate. I want to go with him. Tobias Williams, good choice. He's got an awesome gun. Uh, so you've got one action point. It's not a huge amount. We're we'll sure we'll find ways to give you more. Um, so, there are, generally speaking, there are three things you can do. You can move, you can shoot, or you can interact. Interacting, we're not worried about at the moment because we're just playing a uh, demo game. So, there's no like objectives on the board or anything like that. Moving and shooting, or moving and punching, generally speaking, what we do in miniature war games anyway. So, if you can have a little look at the bottom of your card, you've got some weapon profiles. You've got the juiced pistol and yep. the shredder. Yeah, thermite Which has a 15 inch range, Fif minus three. PRC, piercing? Yeah, piercing, exactly right. And then ROA? ROA right is rate of attack. We were, we did use rate of fire, but once you start putting melee, it doesn't really fit right, so we changed it to rate of attack. Okay. Um, so, what's the rate of attack on it, may I ask? Two. Two, and the range was? Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. So, he is within range of this unit of Cargo Brothers here, if you would like to shoot at them. Yeah. Or, of course, you could move up and you could shoot at someone else if you wanted. Yeah. Oh, see, okay, I missed that part, because they were texting me about it. Yeah, no worry. 
moves. So um, you could do a move action or you could do a shoot action. Well, in range, yeah, so you couldn't do both. Not with one action point, right. but there He's are ways. Shoot. Good idea. Two, so two dice. Two dice. Uh, this piece of cover's in the way because you're not. If you were up against it, it wouldn't count. But it's in the way, so you're minus one to your aim. Can I ask what your aim is? Which is the A on his little arrow. Aim five. So you want fives, except it's aim four because this is in the way. So you want sixes to hit. There you go. And then a seven. Two hot. Two hits. Nice times. So now. Uh, the Karga brothers who you shot at, they have to make a grit check. That's like your toughness, that's kind of how, how much of damage you can take. So there are no wounds, there's no like things to mark off on a card, there's no dice that you put next to a guy to say how many wounds they've got. They are either alive or they're dead. It's pretty deadly this game, but there are ways to mitigate that and we'll come across those as we go and, I'm, and I'll let you know if that, if that pops up. So at the moment, the Karga brothers there, they have to make a grit check. What is their grit, may I ask? Four. Grit four. What's the piercing of the weapon? Minus three. So that's how powerful the weapon is. It's pretty hardcore, it's minus three. So that means the grit goes down to one. So unfortunately, you're going to need to roll nines to make that ten. Uh, and two hits, so you would then roll two uh, grit checks, if you would be so kind. Nines or tens, right? That's a success, right? Uh, sadly, no. That is a crit oh, fail. fail. <laughs> uh, on the on the dice hit, you've got a uh, blackjack symbol, which is a crit fail, or you've got a wild west exodus symbol, which is a crit success. Uh, they always fail or succeed, no matter what. Uh, so sadly, that is a crit fail, which fails, and the eight fails as well. Right. Now, I'm not saying you should do this, I'm just allowing you to have the option. Walks Looking has a certain amount of fortune points. They're like her luck points or her command points in other games. They allow you to do certain things. You could spend one of those to re-roll that eight and see if you succeed. I'm not saying you should do that, because you need a nine, so you probably won't. I'm just letting you know that the option's there, okay? So sadly, we're gonna say that these two guys die. Take away the closest target, so it'll be those front two. They have sadly been shot, they are wounded. They might not be dead dead, but they'll be crawling away or rolling around on the floor or going, hey man, I just wanted to get some food and now they're back at the chuck wagon. So that's his activation. So he's only had one action point, right? Which is sad, he doesn't get to do anything else. Except, maybe there are ways you can get more action points and do more things. Like, like a card. Like a card. That is, a, that is an excellent observation you have made there, sir. So I guess I'll do that because he's queuing me up. No, well, I'm just suggest. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. It's a demo. So that gives you an extra one action point. Now, with that one action point, you could do it. You, you could move uh, as you did before. So would that? That's still only one of those cover, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can move four. How, do, how does moving over the tree work? So intro. Good. Like, good question. I like that. So uh, moving over the tree. If you just stand his base up horizontally, so if you, if you lay him down, right, the, the height of his base now, he can cross any any point high, as, as high as that without worry. Oh. He can just move over stuff. Question: uh, he, Because the extra action point, could he use that for a different character? No, no, it, it's that character's activation right okay. now, so he's the only guy who can go. Right. He could use it to do another shoot action, um, or he could use it to do a move action. Okay. Uh, generally speaking, when you're doing the same action more than once, so if you used to shoot again, it would cost him two action points instead of one. Uh, so you would then need to find another action point from somewhere, but he's chosen to move, uh, and, and he's now there. Uh, okay. Things to be aware of, I don't know if you recall, we, there was a limit point on the card. So can I ask what his limit is? Three. Three. So he can do three actions during his activation. He's done a, mo a shoot action, he's done a move action. He could, in theory, do something else if, I had enough if you had enough action points. Exactly right. So that's his activation done. He has finished. It is now your activation. So you get to draw an action card to determine how many action points you have to spend on cool stuff to do. That's a slightly bigger two. As I said earlier on, you've not been, you know, there are fours and fives and stuff in there, so you haven't been drawing great, just the way the cards go. Uh, so, you now get to decide what you, you want to activate. So you've got a sniper here, as I say. She's super hard in hands-hand combat. Hands-hand combat, bit of a shooty guy, so it's entirely up to you. Alright, let's go with the sniper. Good idea, I like it. Which one is that? Uh, that's Raven's Eye down there. Okay. Which is 
a range of 18. Yep, so uh, we've got two 8 inch doohickeys. So that'll be 16, so two inches on top of that means you can finally get to. Just about anybody. Just about anyone if you have oh. two inches on top of that. Let's shoot at. Um, Stonewall? Stonewall Jackson. Jackson. Can I ask you to flip the card over if you'd be so kind? Uh, yeah, please. And just check if she's got a skill called Dead Eyed. She has, excellent. So, normally if you're trying to shoot a guy like uh, this guy, so I said how, how dangerous combat can be, right? So one of the ways that you can keep people alive is certain heroes, like in this case Stonewall Jackson, Jeffrey Williams, and um, the guy whose name I've immediately forgotten. Uh, Tobias, thank you very much. Uh, they have a school called Target Priority, uh, meaning if they're, unless they're right up close to you, you might not want to shoot at them because there's other people in the way. So normally you'd have to shoot closest target, which would be these guys here. But she's got dead eyed, so she's a sniper, she can avoid that, she can totally shoot it. Okay. Uh, so, if you want to take a shot, please do, you've got two action points, you spend one to do a shoot action. Now, right. what's your aim, may I ask? Aim is seven. Seven, so you need even threes to hit. Uh, so it's got a regular attack of one, so you're only rolling one dice. Okay. Now, uh, just to point a couple of things out, you have this piece of terrain in the way, right. so you'll be at minus one to hit. And you're at long range. Anything longer than 10 inches is long range. There's no like short, medium, long. There's just long range, more than 10. So okay. that's another minus one a hit. So your aim goes from seven down to five. Okay. Uh, now, that's only a 50 50 chance. You probably want to shoot him, right? Because he's not a nice guy. No. So. She married me for nothing. One thing you, <laughs> one thing you could no do. Comment is you've got uh, some fortune points here on Walks Looking. She's your boss. She can spend those fortune points around the around the posse and make cool things happen. One of the things she can do is she, uh, people can focus their action and that gives you a plus two. So you can spend that to give her a plus two, thereby negating the cover and the long range, putting you back up to aim seven. Okay. And do these, do these ever come back? They do. The game, they, re they regenerate when okay. uh, the character who has their fortune points, when they activate, at the end of their activation, they respawn. Okay. So th there's a certain amount of resource management where you've got these fortune points, you can spend them out, and then you might activate someone just so they can respawn their, their fortune points. Okay. So again, it's more decisions to make. Does this kind of go over here? Just uh, well, I, I tend to flip them over because they're, they're, okay. they're pretty cool poker chips. They're double sided. You've got the Wild West Exodus symbol on one side and this kind of skull blackjack critical fail symbol on the other. So I just flip them over when I'm done and I know that they're spent. Okay. So now I need three or higher to hit. Three or higher to hit, yes, indeed. That's a five. You have managed to shoot Stonewall Jackson. I'm sure he's not very happy about it. No, but my grit's seven. Grit seven, nice. So he will have to make, what was the pierce on that, may I ask? It is a minus one. Minus one, so grit seven goes down to grit six, leaving a four. Four, he has saved. He's taken a bullet. His, his armor has protected him, for he is mighty. He, in fact, has a bionic arm. Perhaps it bounced <laughs> off that, I'm not quite sure. So you've got, two, you've got one action point left. I don't know if you remember me mentioning it earlier on, but the first time you do an action, it costs one. The second time you try and do the same action, it costs you two. So unfortunately, you can't do another action. However, maybe there's another way you could get an action point from somewhere. Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe it's on a card. There we go. So your opponent doesn't know that you had that card. So again, there's a lot of surprises in the game. There's a lot of things you might not necessarily know what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can just discard that to the side there. That gives you two action points that allows you to shoot again. We're going to shoot at some more backs again. Why not? Why not? Uh, so so you, this time you need a five. This time you need a five unless you want to focus it. But of course now it's that resource management thing. Do I want to keep spending those chips? Five. You hit with a five. That's exactly what you needed. So again, you need, need a four, I believe. So, oh. do you remember how he said, uh, if you take wounds, you die? <laughs> now, fortunately, you might be able to get away with this. Plus one grit. Ooh, that's cunning. I like that. Cheeky. Had to wait for it. Boom. So, uh, Samuel Jackson's plus one grit. Therefore, he makes the grit check. He is not dead. 
there were there were other ways you could have avoided it, which I was going to explain. You know what? We're going to leave that. One of them was these poker chips. I could have re-rolled, right? Could have re-rolled exactly right. Yeah, I probably played that wrong. No, no, not at all. I think it's cool. It's not. Uh, that's one of the things I like about this game. There are multiple ways to do things. So whether it be action points that you've drawn, uh, fortune points you want to spend, or cards you want to use, lots of different ways to achieve things, rather than kind of feeling like I can't now do this. Uh, so got no action points left but you have a limit of three so you could in theory perform another action whether that be moving or firing again but uh, maybe you, I don't know if you've got more action points in your hand or if you want to spend these chips no you're cool so that'll be the end of your activation uh, so over to you sir two action points so big two well, I mean, a medium size two. An adequate two, should we say. Adequate. Uh, so, you've got two action points. You can't activate Tobias Franklin again because you activated this turn. So, you can pick another guy to activate. Or, indeed, Robot Dog. Why not? Let's go Robot Doggies. Robot Dogs. Who doesn't like Robot Dogs? I guess Robot Cats. So, then now, they're a unit? They are a unit, so they'll activate so, together. They will both move twice if I want to move twice. That's correct. All right, let's move them up six. So what's their move, my eye? Three. Uh, sorry, their quickness, their Q. Oh, seven. Oh, they seven. can scoot. They can scoot. So, yeah, let's... I kind of can't reach. Right. Sorry, I'm... Uh, uh, well, I'm a little, you know, burdened. So one thing I'm going to point out is on the back of their character cards, which I... Love they have most. quickness, I think. They're rapid. Yes, rapid. So rapid means not like, rabid. Rapid. Rabbit. Well, they're not rabid. They, I mean, they can't be inflected because they're robots. I mean, you know. So uh, that means they can focus their move actions for free. So do we remember that focusing gave you plus two to something, uh, like with the uh, Ravens Eye shooting? So that in, in the so same. So they can actually move nine. Exactly right. Indeed, he do. Uh, and as we recall, uh, they only have to be like base high. Yeah, their they're base definitely so, clears that. Exactly. So they can easily scooch over that and get to about nine inches. Okay, we'll do that. That's there. All good in the hood. And there. That's action one. So can, can they make melee? Make it into melee from yeah. there? So they spent one action point to move. And now just like that, they can do a special action is a charge action. Uh, charge actions can only be done if you A, haven't shot, and B, haven't charged already, so you can't do a charge and a charge and a charge. But you've moved, so you can now do a charge action. So a charge action costs you one action point, which you have, uh, and you can move into combat and then finish with a free strike So it's action. your regular move? Regular move, so you can move up to seven. You have to have line of sight against someone, so you couldn't charge around a corner. Let's tie her up. Ooh, mean. Isn't he mean? He is. I'm surprised you brought it along. Especially when you're playing these games. Oh. Uh, he's not me normally, I hope. Yeah. Just, just on the, just on the war games. Oh wait, they could have. They have a two-inch range, so yeah. they could have actually probably attacked her first. <coughs> or would that had to have been a charge? Excuse me. Sorry. We are going to pause for a moment. No worries. Would have been so. There bad. we go. Okay, so the question was, Yeah. they were actually back here after they moved. Yes, indeedy. If they were within two inches of the sniper, would they still have been able to attack, or does it have to be a charge? Uh, it doesn't have to be a charge. They could have attacked. Um, in fact, you could have aimed the charge at her, knowing that it was in range. Because you can pre-measure at any time. I, I think they were just out. But, okay. But we'll go here. Okay, cool, cool. And there... So they've got uh, the last number on their weapon profile at the bottom there is a ROA, which is your rate of attack. Two. Okay, so they get two attacks each. So that's four attacks. So they're five, may I ask? Five. So they need them fives. Would you like to spend a point of fortune to focus that to make it uh, seven? So they hit them threes. Yeah, I think so. So again, one of the things I love about this game, you've always got options. Do you want to do this? You know, do you want to spend all your points to do something cool? Or do you want to save them just in case? Never quite sure. So hitting on threes. Wow, that's not awesome. Uh, so the, the blackjack there is a critical fail. You cannot re-roll that. That happens. The two is a miss. Four and five hit. Now if you want to, uh, you could re-roll the two by spending a point of fortune. Or maybe you don't want it. Nah. That's fair. Uh, I can totally see either side doing that. 
So that's two hits. So she now has to make two grit checks. May I ask what the piercing of the weapon is? For the steel jaws. One. Minus one. So a grit is six. Becomes five, needing fives. That's two, two hits, needing fives. Actually, before I forget, I do apologise. My brain is turned to mush from demoing this game so many times. She's actually got the parry skill on her spirit blades. Oh, she gets a counter. So it's not a counter attack. It means that she can force you to re-roll one of those successful dice. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't matter the five or the four, either one. Re-roll it. You still hit, but it could have parried and, right. and made you miss, right? So I don't want to, I don't want to leave you hanging. Right. So two grit checks. Plus minus one, needing fives. Call that a seven. That's a four, so that's a miss. So she is wounded. Of course, you could, you could re-roll for her point of fortune if you wanted. Yep. And then you can re-roll She only needs a five. If she's got the grit card, she could use that too. True. I don't think... If you got a plus one grit card, you could use it rather than roll it. No. Afraid not. Re-roll that's cocked, I'll let you have that. My mate would call that two days. Three, so still failed, right? So we were I'm sorry, it's a shame. Okay. It'll be okay. Trust me. So uh, in the game, uh, as I said earlier on, the uh, there are no wounds, there's no damage as such, so she would be dead in theory. However, on the back of her card she has a special ability called metal. Uh, metal allows you when you get wounded, instead of becoming wounded, you become disordered. Disordered is a negative condition. Her uh, limit goes down by one, so she can achieve less over the turn. She's not as uh, efficient as she was before. And if she gets wounded again, then she dies. So there's no like wound markers, but there are ways to kind of make people tougher and things like that. So even though the core rules are really simple, there are ways of breaking it. Okay? So that's those robot dogs activated. Now, even if you had lots of extra action points to spend, they only have a limit of two. two. So they've moved, they've charged, they are done ski. But there are ways you can increase that. There is a uh, plus one limit card in the deck. So you might have that and go, ha ha, maybe I'm gonna do an extra attack now. So again, lots of ways to mix things up and make things unpredictable for your opponent. Wow. Okay, so are those robot dogs done? They're Okey done. Dokey. So it's your go if you want to draw an action card first. Three action points. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So, have you got any ideas of what you would like to do? So I'm just going to point out while we're here as well, uh, uh, Walks Looking, excuse me, has spent uh, two of her fortune points. Right. I have spent one. Uh-huh. When she activates, at the end of her activation, she'll regen those fortune points. So I'm not saying you should do her now. I'm just saying I'm letting you know that that's part of the resource management. I guess this is a good time for a question. Yeah, yeah. Can I shoot into that? You can totally shoot into combat. You are uh, you are at minus four to your dice to uh, to your aim. Dumb to do that. And if you crit fail, you hit the you hit the other guy. So you you, know, you shoot hit your friend. Dogs, you hit your friend. Yeah. So there is a rule called gun down, uh, which allows you to uh, negate the minus four, and the crit fail won't hit a friend because you're very good at covering your buddy when he's in combat. You know you can get over it because there's no, it's, your base is wider than it is. And then if you're going around, you just kind of... Yeah, you just measure it in kind of like, you know, three to there, four to there, and so on. Yeah, there you go. That's a standard move action, so that costs you one action point. One action point, and then have an attack. Uh-huh, that's another action point. Does he, he's just attacking one of the dogs? No, he's attacking the unit of dogs. So he will make his attacks, you roll your hits, he will make his grit checks. Uh, if they fail them, they will die in order of closest. So okay. that dog would die first, then that one. If you then become out of range, you can automatically re-engage because you're kind of in the combat with the unit, right? Okay. So he's going to attack his... And he uses the 
fight number because he's a melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Right. So he's a fight of seven. Mm -hmm. And what's his rate of attack at the end of his uh, uh, weapon two. profile? So, so he makes two attacks. Two attacks. And he needs three or higher. That is exactly right. Okay. That's a three and an eight. That's two hits. Hit. And what's the pierce on that? Minus one. Okie dokie, and the dog's grit is four. Is four, so minus one. Sevens. Is needing sevens. Can you do it? Oh, that's a four, which is a fail and a quick success. So one of them passes, one of them fails. So the closest dog is a goner. He is now scrap. Alright. Uh, and we'll be closing at six o'clock. That's in about 25 minutes. Since I had three action points and he can do three, he has a limit yeah. of three, I can go ahead and attack. Yeah, Again? now because or you're doing no. a second uh, oh, combat right. action, it costs you two. But you could, for example, spend Wolf's Looking's fortune point to get an extra attack, uh, an extra action point. Right. Or maybe you could spend one of your cards if you've got more action points there. Alright, so yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. Uh huh. And does he have to Yeah, he, he'll automatically re engage because he's part of the combat. So again, you're rolling two dice, hitting on threes. That's uh, one hit, one miss. Uh, you could re-roll the two if you had more fortune or something like that, but you don't at the moment, so no re-roll, sadly. So another two grit checks against that one dog. Needing sevens, as I recall. Oh, that's a six and an eight. Oh, no, yeah. It was just one hit. Oh, you only hit one, so I do apologise. I'm very sorry. An eight, you make right. it. Same dice. Yeah. There you go. Double whammy. Robot dog. Lives, Not my die, honey. Lives to fight another day. Oh dear. So sadly that is his activation right. done with. So now it's over to the Confederate Rebellion. Uh, if you want to draw one of your action cards to see how many action points you get. A big four. Boom. So, have you got any kind of thoughts that you would like to do? You've got uh, Jeff Williams with his twin linked uh, Well, now, gaming. man. I believe that's got a range of 15, so you can quite happily shoot either of those guys. Could. Sure, we'll start with Jeff. Okay. So here's uh, Gatling. It doesn't say that on the card, uh, but Gatling guns are counted as heavy. It's one of the rules they have, so you can't move and fire. If oh. You, if you move, then you can't fire after. Well, so you then can, you before I make that move. decision, uh -huh. let me see if... Oh. Is that within 15? The You're going to take a risk. Is she 15? Uh, that's 16 for her. Yeah. So she is just in uh, just in um, just in 15, but she does have that target priority rule we target, talked about earlier on. So she's not the closest target. So you right, right. I have to her. start over here. But yeah. If I manage to take them out, I can. Oh, totally. Because can I can't cross. move and shoot. You can work your way down to everyone. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. But yeah, I think a uh, little claw is so, lighter. First action. Uh-huh. So, uh, right, so you're shooting. Yep. Uh, you want to just double check your Juice Gatling gun, the um, a rate of attack on it? Four. Oh, four. so I get four dice for each action. Yes, indeed. So you're first, you're spending one action point to make a shoot action. Right. You're running four dice. What's the aim on that? Five. Five on fives. So, that's a one crit success, that two one. misses, and another hit. So, Gatling guns have a special rule called linked. It's not on that card, but... It, uh, oh, it's not linked? This, is, this one says overcharge for crit. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, okay. but the Gatlings, as, as a rule, they all have linked. So, that means you can re-roll those misses. Four hits. It's not looking good for Little Claw. No. I have to say, I do apologize. <laughs> um, he's not a very nice guy, is he? I know. I have a hard time rolling back. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. I wish I had that problem. <laughs> These dice games don't usually go Even in my favor. Even his pistols are overcharged. Just say. Right, right. So, um, overcharged means that uh, it means different things to different people. So, against vehicles, it means one thing. Against people, basically, it means hazarded. So, hazarded is a condition in the game. It's a negative condition. It, it equates to things like fire, bleeding, uh, poison acid, stuff like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad day, basically. Uh, so she is hazarded now and we'll come across that later in the turn if we need to. She may well die before that takes effect. 
So, that's four hits, so she has to make four grit checks. Minus two. Minus two. Ooh. Needing eights. Not looking great. Here they come, though. You reckon? Four eights or higher? No. One eight. That's good. So that's one eight. Two sixes and a crit fail. So the crit fail happens no matter what. The sixes you could in theory re-roll if you had points and such. Uh, in this case, that would be a whole bunch of bad news. She does exactly. That is hers. She can spend that on herself, not on someone else. So it would only be able to re-roll one of us. Exactly. So she, and not the crit fail. And not the crit fail. So she'd still take two wounds. So she'd become disordered for the first part. And then she'd die for the second. So I'm afraid to say she is... Uh, she is an ex little claw. She is full of riddled with holes. I'm sorry about that. All right, we'll shoot at the next guy. Okay. So again, this costs you two action points. The five C has two crit fails. The five hits before you can re-roll because they're linked. Because that's a special rule that the Gatlings have. Oh, it's a crit again. Boom. We'll just we'll just tuck that over there, shall we? I mean, you know, why not, right? So that's a crit and a hit. Uh, so two grit checks. Mm -hmm. No, I'm afraid not. He is also toast. So it's not been looking great for the uh, Warrior Nation. I do want to point out that the Warrior Nation are a close combat faction. I, I noticed. They, should play they would prefer to get into close combat. In the full game, this is just a, this is a demo game. They're at the start of posse. In the full game, they have access to things called totems, which are like mini little totem poles. You can place them on the on the battlefield uh, at the start of the game, and you can teleport between them. So it's a good way of getting into combat. Oh, they need one of those in the demo at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, one is kind of, you only then kind of put okay, a fear on that place. Two. Yeah, two. two. I'll, put, I'll, I'll have a work with someone, put two in the demo. Uh, so they're pretty cool. Portals are a thing in the game generally. So a few factions can use portals in one way or another and bounce around the battlefield. It's kind of a cool uh, cool mechanism we've got in the game. Well, technically, you're not out of this game. No, no, totally, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> Mostly, you're out of this. <laughs> So that was Jeff Williams, he's got one action point left. He's got a limit of three, so he could now move. Because he hasn't done a move action yet. So you can't, you can't, um, shoot, because it's a heavy weapon, you can't uh, move then shoot, but you can shoot then move, if that makes sense. Yes. I guess he'll move. I mean, he doesn't have to, if he doesn't want to, he can just lose that action Might point. as well. Stroll down there and survey his carnage. <laughs> Is there a firing arc in this game? No, nope, it's 360. I mean, it's assumed that people can kind of look around whenever they want and kind of get on with their day. Well, uh, it fits the gunfighting too. Yeah, yeah, totally. It has that kind of feel. Um, I don't know whether in development they looked at firing arcs, but it's just one more thing to worry about, really. So here's where I think it gets ugly in the demo. She's activated everything. No, I haven't. Nope, still got walks no, looking. I oh, okay. Well, I guess the dog's gonna die. Seems so. Two action points. Not a huge amount of action points, I'm afraid. Can I just have a little look at your cards, please? Thank you. You have not got the ones I'd hoped you had. I do apologise. Wow, nothing's going right. Just one of those games, I'm afraid. Yeah, All right, so. Random chance. I'll just move that. She's just going to attack the dog. Yep. right there. So one action point to attack the dog. There's no crowding out or kind of ganging up bonuses or anything like that. Okay. Fight of seven yep. and rate of attack two. Boom. Hit so on threes. Threes are uh, higher. Yeah. She critted. Hitting a crit. So the hit hits, unsurprisingly, a pierce minus one. And the crit has a special rule called a lethal. Now lethal, you remember you were re-rolling your uh, Gatling gun? Lethal is a re-roll. If you succeed in your um, grit check, you have to re-roll it. So the first one you'll take as a normal hit, which you crit with, so you're all good in the hood. The second one is lethal, which you crit with again. 
Now, normally you would have to re-roll that if a successful hit, but crits you don't re-roll. So you don't re-roll crit fails or crit successes. Wow, you are looking good in this video, man. <laughs> you are looking like a demon in this video. Yeah. You have possessed the dice with your mighty powers. I'm also My dogs it. like living. Well, yeah, true. Uh, so one action point left. Can't yeah. attack again. Right, so if you flip her card over, she's got a special rule, I believe it's called Combat Master. <laughs> uh, so, long story short, she can, uh, her, she can do one action point to attack, and then her second combat action, which would, or her second strike action, which this would be, would normally cost two, but her only costs one. So she can, in fact, attack again. So again, two attacks, hit on uh, threes. To so hit a crit, so the first hit hits normally. Fails. Dead dog. Dead dog. Dead, the dog is no more. Hey, I get to kill the dog. So you haven't got any action points, you haven't got any things to spend, there's nothing else you can do. Fortunately though, at the end of her activation, she loses the disordered condition as she manages to kind of patch up her wounds and get herself back together and she gets her fortune points back. So she's totally back in the game of full effectiveness now. It's awesome, right? Three action points. Three of your earth action points. How many? I got two guys left. So now you are sadly finished activating because he killed a bunch of people, which I right. think is very mean of him. It is. His Gatlin guns are heavy weapons also. Yep, uh, on the back of his card he has a special rule called Unstoppable. Uh, he is mighty, he is powered up, and he can uh, move and shoot. Well, it didn't make it to the... Oh yeah, he can move and shoot. So... He is hard as nails. We're going to have to move up four then. So, quickness four, that's one action point. One of three. Team of somebody. Yes, he is. And it would be one of those two, right? Even though she's closer, he can't see her. That's fine, yeah. So right. it would be him because he's closest. All right. Rate of action or attack four. Four, so four dice. Wow. You don't even need to re-roll them. Because what's his aim? I don't even know. <laughs> aim five. Five. Minus one for the cover. Just the cover's in the way, so that's uh, four, four. even sixes. Three sevens and a nine, that'll do, pig, that'll do. Right. As I believe they say in some film or whatever. <laughs> some film. So, what's the piss on that, may I ask? Uh, minus two. Minus two, so his grit is? Five. Minus two is three, seven. needs sevens. He may just die. I got one. That's one crit and a bunch of uh, nothing. So the first one will disorder him, the second one will kill him. I'm afraid so, yep. I'm really sorry. Fortunately, he's got a limit of two, so he can do, he can do no more actions. Because he moved, and then he shot. So even though you've got all those action points, they're effectively wasted. I don't feel so bad for you, though. Two action points on Stonewall he Jackson. <laughs> and plus one action point, so it gives him three action points. Three action points. He's only got a pistol, so... He can move and shoot, right? Yep. yep. His pistol is even better in the uh, updated version 1.8 that you get in the current start set. Uh, it's Pierce minus four, which has a whole extra pack of special rules. We'll shoot. And are you shooting at? Yeah, I think she's on. closer. So yep, she is. Closer, so. Uh, so now you're within 12 inches. Uh, oh, you, so you, don't you don't need to worry about target priority. So you can shoot. Hawk's looking if you want. We'll shoot the... Uh... Right, before you roll those dice, please. Uh, now, Hawk's looking. Uh, in fact, most of the faces, I haven't brought it up because we're just doing a demo game, so I don't want to tell you every rule and kind of burden you with choice. Right. Uh, she has a special rule, as most of them do, called Quick in the Dead. Quick in the Dead, before your opponent rolls, you decide you're going to do Quick in the Dead, you're going to try and dive out of the way. You, oh. make, a, you make a quickness check. Uh, in her case, you've got quickness six, so you need right. four or more. She dives out of the way, ignores the entire shoot action. So if it was someone like him with like four shots, you can leap to the ground and ignore them all. Do it. Then all right. So she has... You can only do it once per turn. Quickness, uh, quickness six, six, so you need so a four. four. 
as you get. So you dive to the ground, you become hunkered. Hunkered is a positive condition in the game. Uh, it means you get plus one grit checks, so you become a bit tougher as you're kind of hiding on the ground. But you're actually minus one to your fight and minus one to your aim, so you're less effective in combat. So it's kind of a risk reward thing, you know, it's better that you're now hiding. You can only quicken the dead once per turn, and whether or not once per turn, if you're hunkered, you can't do it, because you're assumed to be in kind of a fetal position anyway, right? You're already behind the cover. Right. Okay. I got one action left. So can I shoot her while she's hunkered? So yeah, you can. You definitely can. Now you've got one action point. So uh, your second shoot action will cost you two action points. Oh, so what about throwing a grenade? You didn't shoot yet, did you? Didn't you just yeah, move? so it moved, shot you, you yeah, dived you out of the way, way and away. ignored the, oh, cut, okay. ignored the gotcha. shot. Sorry. Have you got any more fortune points to spend? Yes. So you can spend one of those for an action point. That gives you two. That allows you to make a second shot action. That's a four. What's your aim? Only a five. Oh, you're going to spend one for a reroll. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> oh, crit fail. Guns jammed. Guns jammed. Click, 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 click. He can sort it out. He's hardcore. So he's activated. That's a full turn. So then you would decide whether you want to keep these cards. You can discard them. Uh, then you would draw another initiative card, which has the top number in. And then you would draw three more of your... Uh, there we go. go first again. So it goes first again, then you draw three more cards. These are your, um, uh, so you can discard them and draw new ones, or you can keep them and draw up, back up to three. In a full game of 1,500 points, you draw back up to five. Oh, and then these recycle them? No, they don't. They only, re oh yeah, they do because he's activated. Yeah. I do apologize. It's, yeah, it's not turn, it's based on their activation. Uh, so now you're up to go first. Two action points. Go with stone wall. Oh, you're gonna charge into combat. So yeah, one action, a sword that's pretty cool. One action point to charge. Uh, I'm doing plus one fight. Ooh. I don't know if that's good or bad. She's yeah. still considered hunkered. She is still like considered hunkered. Plus one on great. Exactly right. She's playing, she's playing the defensive game. She's not necessarily lying on the ground at this point. She's just kind of like backing away, defensive styly. But yeah, so you hit, because you had a fight of six, plus one fight, that lasts until the end of the activation, so until you completely finish, that's still there. So you hit, uh, however, you have a parry skill, so you can force him to re-roll that successful hit. Hopefully he misses. Sure. She's yeah. got a parry. Nice well. Unfortunately, yeah. it still hits. Worth a try. It's for free, so why not? Right. Uh, so what's the grit modifier on the, uh, ven oh, I forget what the family Minus sword. two. Minus two. So you're grit six, six, down to four, but you're plus one. Seven. Back up to five. So five. Go on. Yeah. Take it. I'm impressed. Go to three actions. Ooh. So you have one, one action point you had already. You're, you're spending the fortune point to get an extra action point, so you can then do another combat attack. Nine. The parry still effects, so you have to re-roll. Five still hits, worth a try. Right. Uh, so again, making a grit check against uh, number five. Nope. File it, but you can spend a point of uh, fortune to re-roll it if you would like to do so. Sure. No. Sadly, still file it. So unfortunately for her, she goes back to being disordered. So again, she doesn't die. Although there are no wounds, there are still ways to mitigate that. Right. So, as she I think done. we got a good feel. Do you yeah. want to finish playing? Or? You can wrap up. Because I've got about 30 seconds left on the battery. No worries. worries. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you, honey. Thank you. Pleasure. Hi, guys. Meet the nibbles. Who's gonna go down? <laughs> she just did, decided not to go down my back. So we'll do this for her. So she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and I appreciate it. Uh, please, please hit the like button uh, and and share it if you you know know somebody who might be interested. And of course. There's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy, and soon I have a newsletter coming. That'll be down there or in the link below, and my kitty cat loves that idea. Uh, so, anyway, uh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Be a part of my community. Our community. 
let's make it grow together. See you guys at a con somewhere or a local store or if I'm driving through the country, maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.